Okay, so the computer, the Gateway 2000, had what I think was a 100 megahertz processor. This was back in 1995 or 1996, while I was still a tit studying business and accounting. Had a one, this is a bit $2,000, big expensive computer, and the tower, it was a tower computer. And when they made towers back then, they made towers. Is Tower Record still around? Anyway, 100 megahertz processor, one gigabyte hard drive, 16 megabyte of RAM. Is that right? 16 megabyte of RAM. Yeah, that's right. And the tower itself, I wish they still made things like this, by the way, because I'm this kind of guy. The tower itself, I gotta. I, I want to actually, I don't want to exaggerate. I want to try to try to be accurate here, but it's hard because, it's, again, it's, it's a long time. But the tower might have been, I, I want to say, like 30 inches tall. Like this, it, uh, the little the little plastic whippy towers they have today. This thing might have been, it might have been 30 inches tall, to at least two feet tall, I would think. At least, yeah, maybe two feet tall. Yeah, that's probably right. Maybe, maybe two feet tall. Maybe a little bit taller. And it maybe, and it maybe weighed. I don't know. I don't know. Twenty pounds. It was big. It was big, and it was heavy, and it was real, real substantial. They don't make them like that anymore. And again, it's sort of a uh, not exactly a fifty-seven Chevy compared to the vehicles that are that are out on the road today. But in a way, that's exactly what it was, like a 57 Chevy. And it had Windows 95 on it. And I still miss Windows 95. It's one of those, yeah, Windows 95 probably couldn't do much. Everything that I know about putting together an operating system, you could fit into a miniature thimble. Just like everything I know about girls, you could fit into a miniature thimble. But as far as Windows 95 and just, if it's, keep it simple, stupid, like that, in and of course, Windows, Microsoft Office was better back then with Word, and so anyway, you got a whole bunch of much better stuff now. But again, Windows 95 and operating <laughs> that, that Gateway 2000 computer with a 100 megahertz processor and a 20. Oh, that's it. The modem. That's right. Anyone who was around back then. That's right. The modem back then. Well, it was a 28, everything was either 14.4 or 28.8 kilobyte dial-up. <laughs> it was a whole different world back then. Minecraft, again, I was, I'm was i not sure I was playing video games at that time. I did in college, but earlier on, what were the video game systems then? I don't know if it was Sega Genesis or what it was, but anyway, that's right, computers... All right, so I can craft myself a bed. <laughs> That's right, it comes out red here. That's right, it was neat being able to make all the different colored beds in that game, in Minecraft 1.2.2, but 12.2. All right, so here I have a bed. Actually, I won't put the bed that way. I'll try to arrange it this way. Yeah, that's right. So anyway, computer technology. Come on. There. Okay. That's right. A gateway 2000, 100 megahertz. That's right. 28.8 was. And then it went up. Then everything went up to 56.6. That's right. There was no way to. There were. First of all, there was no YouTube. There was no way. There were no videos to watch back then. The the internet was uh, just again. It was like the wild west. It was like Clint Eastwood. Riding into town on a horse back then. Now everything on the internet is obviously it's it's not about and to me that's right, internet regulation really doesn't matter to me. But as far as, well maybe somebody will internet regulation matters to you. But again I don't I don't do anything on the internet that again the only thing that scares me on the internet is our updates. Updates always scare me. Software updates, app updates, updates scare me. But net and Minecraft updates scare me. It's one of those things where everything now is very, very, everyone, it's like a, again, 
as opposed to it being the Wild West. Now it's just a, you know, a, a regular city that has paved roads and plumbing and law enforcement and speed limit signs and stop signs and all that kind of stuff. So here we are. I've got a food, shelter, bed. Two different kinds of fish. <laughs> there we go. See, I just got another achievement, even though I already have iron. All right. So anyway, you know what? It's... Yeah, that's fine. There. 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 Actually, you know what I'm going to do now? This, by the way, is where I go down there to, to get that some gold and some redstone to make myself a clock. This is when I go down there, and there's and there's a couple witches, goons and goblins, waiting there for me. They throw poison on me, knock me down, corner me, and kill me after I do all this. This is when that happens. But that's how apparently life works. This is how movies work, right? Nothing will ever get me now. And then, at that exact moment, as soon as the star of the movie says that, that's when something gets him. Or her. That's the way my life works. So, if you come to expect these things, you never quite know when they're going to happen, how they're going to happen. It just becomes the... It's like a bolt of lightning. It's like the electricity builds up. He's, a, something's a, he's about to accomplish something. He's about to do something. The electricity builds up. And then a bolt of lightning comes down. And, uh, and ruins the good time. All right, so anyway. Now, that's not enough gold to make a clock. Did I find any more gold back here? I thought I saw some more gold. Maybe I didn't. Alright, so three blocks of gold. You need four blocks of gold to make a clock. I like having the clock. I know, this this is this wasn't the way to the redstone, but let me see what's in here. That's right. This is I, there's a skeleton up there. So anyway, last night or not yet last night, yesterday I watched a movie. Although it's a different I watched a different movie last night. It was uh, yesterday. It was Friday the fourteenth, or Friday the thirteenth, the movie. And I've probably watched that a lot. I probably watched it a long time ago. The original, the original Friday the thirteenth, the movie. How's this guy even getting me? Where's he coming from? But it's like any of those old horror movies where the teenage this is a it's a teenage it was how's this guy even shooting me? Is there another one that I don't see? Ah, there is one that I don't see. Alright, so anyway it's the same thing in those movies. Like, don't go... It's a dark room. Don't go in the dark room. Don't go in the dark room. And, again, this game's the same kind of way. You go into the dark room, and, and you find exactly what you think you're going to find. You, you get exactly what you're looking for. So, anyway... I, I do want to make a clock. We're at 9 minutes and 24 seconds here. And there's two skeletons... that are waiting for me. All I need is one there. All I need is one thing of gold. That's right. I'm not. 
looking for a for a fight right now. Just want to get my last block of gold without too much problem. That's right. So anyway, all right. Now I have enough gold, and now I need some red a block. I think a redstone. That's right, the witches. Oh, see? Well, it's nighttime also. But there's creepers. Now. Why is that bat on fire? Anyway. <laughs> Bat's on fire. That's right, there's really nothing funny about a bat being on fire, but in real life. But it is kind of funny to watch in this game. That's right. Okay. What we got here. Is there a, a chest here? Mm -hmm. I use one redstone. That's right. All right, so let's go up there. It's 11 minutes and nine seconds now. Uh, but I want to make my clock, and YouTube will happily happily let me upload a 15-minute video. So I, I should be well within the uh, well within the, the time limitations here. Somehow you can load up longer videos. Maybe after if you ask for if you request that or something. I'm not sure how, but for my purposes, in fact, on Minecraft, my upload speed here is miserable. Also, all right. So let's do the gold. Need another fish. That's right. See, I didn't fill myself up there. Just I left a little bit. All right, now I'll go to bed with a full belly. Oh, well, once I have the clock, I'll know what time it is. Approximately. Huh, raining. Please be the recipe. Be the right uh, your clock. Put that in slot number seven. And now I'm gonna hit the haze and the hose. <laughs> <laughs> 